Let's go to the word envy. Envy, of course, this is the Charlie Munger thing. It's like it's the worst of the sins because you can't have any fun with it. The other sins of like gluttony and whatnot, at least you're having fun doing them. Envy is just, I think there's a big difference between admiring someone's skills and saying, I want that for your, for myself and envy. And I think the difference is when I admire your skills and I say, I want to be more like that, it's a positive thing. Envy is I'm jealous of you, so I hope you fail. It has nothing to do with boosting myself. It's just pulling other people down. I think it's always the case of when there is some sort of inequality in, in the world, whether it's wealth inequality, racial inequality, whatever it is, there's two ways to go about it. You can promote the underdog or you can denigrate the person who's ahead. And it's, and like, sometimes it seems like you're getting to the same spot, but it's a very different way of getting there. And it's the same thing with looking at other people's success. You can admire that and try to chase it, or you can envy it and try to tear it down. And there's actually a lot of the latter in the world. You see this quite a bit with like the shade and Freud on social media when people fail. It's not looking up to your heroes. It's, it's rooting for the decline of other people yeah. who you think don't deserve their success. It's interesting. So, you know, this, uh, this word schadenfreude or schadenfreude, uh, the German word is hot and cold, right? Schadenfreude. Mm -hmm. And it is you go hot and cold. You get pleasure from other people's pain and you get pain from other people's pleasure. You have to think about this as a human being. This is the atavism of our brains. This is the primordial nature of our survival mechanism. So if your, your cave was bigger than my cave and your wife was prettier than mine, I went over to your cave, hit you in the head with a rock and took your cave and your wife. Okay. And that's what right. we did 50,000 years ago. We don't have to do that anymore. Okay. And so we and have it's, to- It's we so have much to, just like viewing everything as a competition. Everything yeah, is exactly. a competition. That's exactly. all evolution. It's just a competition for resources. And exactly. when you view it through that lens- then all these things kind of make sense. But yeah, I think you could ask, we have the intelligence now as humans to take a step back and realize how dumb that game is and realize that it's going to maybe increase your status, maybe, but it's not going to increase your happiness in the slightest. We have to override that. We have to override that. Okay, so so unfortunately, because we these are short podcasts and you are a brilliant guy, I could talk to you all day. Let's talk about greed. Well, I think it's right just up not there with the envy. Yeah, it's not knowing the boundaries of your skill is most greed. Now, I think most people, not all, but most people who engage in greed have no idea that they're doing it. It what The actions that they're taking seem to make perfect sense to them. Of course, there are exceptions to that, but I think most of the time in investing, when in hindsight, you're like, oh, that was just greed. It, it was actually, it, it looked like the right decision for that person in their head in that moment. So I think it's just knowing the boundaries of your skill of your risk tolerance, that's probably the biggest one, knowing the boundaries of your risk tolerance. Most people in hindsight, when they got caught up with greed, they look back and they, they assume that they could accept a 50% decline or whatever. And then they experience it and they realize they, they couldn't. And in hindsight, they say, if, I, if only I was less greedy and taking less risk, I could have put up with that kind of loss. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So Morgan, Morgan, the magic of investing is found in two words. I'm going to say the two words I want you to react. You ready? Compound interest. Compound interest. But okay. it's too simple for smart people to take seriously. Okay, and so the go, magic go, of it is not intuitive. So go go ahead, sir. You're going to educate me. I am, uh, I'm not that smart. But actually, you really have to educate the super smart people because they're always trying to out-trick the market where Buffett tells you, relax and just ride the whole thing. But go ahead. Why, well, here's, why, here's, why do here's I the trick need to know it. about, I'm a farmer, I'm a fisherman. Why do I need to know about compound interest? Tell me. Here's the trick that's so counterintuitive to even very smart people. If you are an investor, the, the knee-jerk question that you want to answer is how can I earn the highest returns? That seems like the intuition, of course, that's what I should do. And it's not. What you want to do is figure out the best returns that you can sustain for the longest period of time. Because earning 20% in one year is cool. Earning 15% for 20 years is magic. Doing it for 50 years is, is ridiculous. If right. you can be an average investor for an above average period of time, you'll end up in the top 1% of all investors. Mm -hmm. And that's not intuitive. So this is, this is, I think, part of why indexing can make sense. If the simplicity of indexing allows you to stick around as an investor for 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, you're going to crush it. You're earning mm -hmm. average returns for an above average period of time because the, that's the math of compounding. The exponent in the equation is time. 
that's where all the heavy lifting is done. It's not in returns. It's just how long can you keep this going for? Yeah. Amen. All right. Well, you, you're, you're hitting my, uh, my sweet spot and, uh, love everything about you. I didn't realize we almost had a fascist overthrow of Franklin Roosevelt. I had to read that in your book, uh, same as ever. Um, and boy, we, we have this interesting, amazing country that we're both growing up in and learning. 